Welcome back to Wake Up America Weekend. According to a new Gallup poll, Americans' belief in God hit a new low. 81% of U.S. adults believe in God, which is down 6% from 2017. Now, what does this mean for America and the future of America's youth? For more, we have theology graduate student and author of the blog, Journals of Juliana, Juliana Morehouse, and Pastor Jack Hibbs, senior and founding pastor of Calvary Chapel, Chino Hills, California. Good morning to you both, and thanks for joining us. Morning, thanks. Thank you for having me. Pastor Jack, to you first, what do you make of the fact that the number of believers in America has dropped 6%? Well, we're watching a trend in America that is one that is expected when you talk about the fact that uh, so much of God has been removed from our culture. Uh, listen, I went to public school in Orange County, California, where uh, God was included in the public school system. We don't do that anymore. Uh, we tell kids that they're animals, that they're biological uh, evolutionary product, and that there is no God. And then we wonder why uh, people are acting the way that they are. The truth of the matter is we've got to get back to what the true answer is within the human heart and soul. And that is that man, even kids know that there's a concept of God and they need to find him. And so they're searching today in drugs, they're searching today in sex, and in fact, maybe many of our uh, moral issues today are maybe happening because kids are not being told the right way to go, but they're being told to experiment, find your own way. When God makes it clear that he's got a path for our lives if we would just seek him. Right. And, and Juliana, you're currently a student right now. You're seeking your master's in theology. And so you're around younger generations m most of the time. Are you finding that less young people are religious Absolutely, Christina. I graduated from college a little over a year ago, and from what I saw, just as Pastor Jack was saying, many young people are lost. They look for their fulfillment through partying, romantic relationships, accomplishments, likes on social media. Really, our generation is very self-obsessed. They, they all want to be famous and to be liked and praised by the world, but the reality is only true purpose and true affection are found through Jesus Christ. He says he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life, and no one comes to the Father except through him. And in lieu of Father's Day, I want to shout out my dad because just as Pastor Jack was saying, it's really important that we have people put us on the right path. And my dad really showed me the importance of faith and having a relationship with our creator. Thank you to all the dads out there who are shepherding our young people because I promise you it is making an incredible impact. Pastor, going off of what she just said, how can you encourage youth to get involved? Well, I tell you what, exactly what Julianne just said, they need to actually open up a Bible I know that sounds radical, but you know what? <laughs> Open up a Bible. I'm in a hotel room right now, and there's a Bible right here. Open up the Bible, start in Gospel of John, start reading there, and find out your worth as a young person. That so many of the biblical characters that we love and recognize were very young people that God used mightily. What an amazing age. Look, I, unlike Julianne, I'm an old guy. I went through the Jesus movement, the hippie era, where we saw people lost, they were completely without hope. And what happened? They wound up opening the Bible in the 60s and 70s, and they got back to the Scripture. And we saw what was called the Jesus Movement Revival. We need that again. We need kids to simply read the Bible. And can I say this? The answer is not going to be in a church. Someone's going to say, well, you know, go to church, go to church. Yes, of course, go to church, but know this. Open the Bible and read what God has to say to you for yourself. God will speak to you. And every one of you young people out there that may be watching right now, you have incredible value and your life is not an accident. He made you for a purpose. He's got a plan. And Jesus Christ is exactly what Julianne just said. The way, imagine that, the truth and the life. That's exactly what our young people need today. And that's why he went to the cross. And that's why he rose again from the grave. Juliana, how can we encourage more young people in their teens, 20s, 30s to pursue a belief in God? 
I'm really passionate about encouraging young people to do this, and that's why I'm pursuing a master's in theology. Let me just say, based on what Pastor Jack just said, you know, it can be really depressing to come up in this era because you see so little God amongst young people, but it's also a really incredible opportunity. What a cool part of history to be in to show people what it means to live abundantly and to live for God. And, and in my journey to try to pursue, get people to pursue a belief in God, I started a blog called Journals of Juliana to try and speak about subjects that are relevant to young people, but, but through a theological lens. And to any young people who are watching this that think believing in God and walking with God means that there's just this set of rules you have to follow, let me tell you that that is not the case. Absolutely, we are called to follow God's law and to be morally up upright and to exhibit fruits of the spirit, but really to be a Christian is to be in relationship with God. Just as you have a relationship with your earthly father and he leads you and he guides you, the same could be true for you and for your heavenly father, but on a larger scale. Great conversations on this Sunday morning. Thank you so much for joining us, Pastor Jack Hibbs and Juliana Morehouse. Guys, we'll be right back with more Wake Up America Weekend after this. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 